praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I am here again, and if you look at my title, this have happened actually um, almost, I don't even know the time frame, but more than a week ago. Um, I just wanted to, I don't release things anymore unless it's truly, truly from God. Hold on. I'm not talking about prophecies. That's always been from God. I, I might have just been a little bit, you know, quick on one or two that we know of, right? But I'm not releasing anything if God don't doesn't say so. Praise God, praise God. So with that being said, um, I just wanted you all to know because I share a lot on here on purpose. You see, one thing I've been preaching about is that we have to be transparent. Preachers got to be transparent. We don't have a personal life. Not if you're going to preach and teach. The devil is a lie. Let's be real. You're supposed to come clean. Come clean. It's 2019. <laughs> Let me stick to my subject at hand. I walked away from the partnership of the restaurant. I just, I'm going to try to keep it very minimal because I don't want to put my mouth on anyone. But I just do things different, you guys. I mean, I know everybody said it was a blessing. And trust me, it could have really been a very lucrative blessing. But I hear God says, Deanna, I'm going to give you your own. And so I'm going to, um, I'm praying about starting a GoFundMe. Um, I got to do something because, you know, hey, I'm in between blessings too. I never perpetrate about who I am or what I'm not. I, I just don't do that. And so with that being said, I'm just going to stick to the plan that God gave me clear vision. You know, I'm positioning myself that way. I have, I have everything, everything. All I need is I'm taking the last test Monday to where if I open up a building, Everything is, in, I mean, everything, paperwork, everything, health department, y'all don't hear me. So, um, I did try <laughs> and I, again, I'm trying not to say certain things, but it's, it's like this. I will tell you one scenario. Um, I was talking to one of the cashiers. I just don't smile. And she was looking at me real crazy and I wanted to say personally, but well, since you don't want to smile, why don't you go in the kitchen area and work from there? I'm very stern. I do not play. My name is everything to me. You understand what I'm saying? Especially when you hear Chef Didi, I promise you're going to get excellence. Um, you know, cleanliness, um, professionalism, good customer service. Everything matters, you know. It's not just about a restaurant. It's about your integrity and your character. So I pray that the ones that follow me, that you will help me on my journey. And no, ain't nobody begging. This how it's going. Those that help, help. Those that don't, don't. God bless everybody. All right, but I'm going after my dreams. God did not bring me this far just for me to go this way. And to be honest with you, I'm going to go here. I got another offer like yesterday. I'm praying about everything because I'm going to be honest with you. Everything that, that glitter and gold. And um, there are certain standards. And let me put this out there. God is first. I will never put God second again. God is first. Now, hold on. With God being first, that means I got to do things a certain way. So if another person is not uh, agreeing to that, we, we can't do no business. Mm -mm. Nah, mm -mm. God bless everybody. So um, I was disappointed. I'm going to be transparent like I always am. I was, I was a little sad. I was like, God, man, it was such a great opportunity. But, and it was me. It was me. I just, I'm a stickler when it comes to customer service, professionalism, food. Everything has to be A grade. Because my name to me is everything. My reputation to me is everything. I'm not saying perfect, but it has to be up to par. So the reason why I'm even making this live is because I think I will do a GoFundMe. I don't care. Let me tell y'all something. And I want y'all to, to come on this journey with me, those that believe. Those that don't, God bless you. And I ain't even mad. But if I just start off it in a small something, I promise you I'm going to make it pop. Meaning that I'm going to have a full-blown restaurant within a year. So it doesn't even matter because I know what's inside of me and I don't mind working hard. I've been working hard for other, everybody else all my life. I know it's my time and ain't nobody going to stop me. Oh, come on, somebody I feel the power of God. See, I'm an apostle. I'm called first. Don't get it twisted. But my passion, and I also minister while I cook. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I'm feeding people spiritually and physically. Come on, somebody, because let me tell you something. Before I prepare any food, you'll, they'll always see me wash my hands and put, yes, I do. I don't put it in the food and I don't get it twisted, but everything is, is spiritual to me. So I was a little sad, like I said, you know, so there is no more restaurant, me being half owner. I, I just, nah, we're not going to do that. I want my own. 
I want my own. I don't care if it's just a little something, something. So I'm going to start this journey. I'm going to start looking for a building. Um, <laughs> just pray for me. Those that have a prayer life, um, I'm not going to stop till I get it. I'm not going to stop. Yeah, it's a journey. But um, I'm going to keep on after it. So I probably will do a GoFundMe. I feel a little funny because, you know, people be thinking, oh, they begging, you know. So, But I know that when God really calls you to do something, you don't you don't let anything deter you. Not people, not your emotions, not what people think. So I just want to tell you guys that because I was I was show in the restaurant showing y'all the restaurants. So I want to show y'all and tell y'all that that is I just I just walked out the um, partnership. I just I just couldn't do it, and um, they were sad, you know. But I wish everybody best. We don't ever leave a situation talking about people or putting people down. We don't do all that. So. Here I go again. I'm not gonna stop till till it drop. I ain't gonna stop till I cut that red rib, ribbon. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. So, like I said, I probably will do a GoFundMe. And I guess, you know, I guess I am asking for help. You know, I'm not rich or anything like that. So, um, that's it. So God bless you. God keep you. And um, that's it. I know y'all know I'm a little sad. Yeah. But I know God, man, God has brought me this far. He's not going to leave me now. And the reason why I'm so transparent, because I also want to encourage you. I cannot practice what I don't preach and preach what I don't practice. There's going to be times when it's going to be up and you're going to be like, yes, yes, yes. And there's going to be times when you're going to feel low. But you still got to go. You still got to push. You still got to push. You still got to push. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we don't stop, we won't stop. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, so God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, but for that is who we are, a.k.a. Chef D.D. Mm.